Herzlich willkommen zum Musical Talk, dem Music und Sound Production Podcast aus Berlin. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Musical Talk Messecast von der Frankfurter Musikmesse 2016. Jetzt bin ich bei Pioneer beim Richard. Hi Richard. Hello. So you got a drum machine? Uh, actually a standalone sampler. That's our category name for it. So uh, this is our tour. Oh, well, that's worth picking. Come on, it's a drum computer, isn't sure, it? Sure, it's a drum computer, but you don't need the the computer to support it, which is one of its uh, USPs. That's what a drum computer is all about. No okay. computer. But you can load your own samples into this. And so uh, let me talk to you about the product. So this is our SP60. So we're targeting this at three main users. One is the DJ. So you can connect it into our CDJs and trigger your sounds on the fly, all in time with our perfect uh, Pro DJ Link uh, BPM information. So a lot of DJs are trying to sync external kit with DJ setups, mm -hmm. but MIDI clock information isn't the best source of information because it's BPM and DJs need beats and bars and our Pro DJ Link oh, yeah, provides yeah, yeah. that protocol. So you could trigger all of your sounds and then they would drop in perfectly in time with your CDJ mix as well. It's like, it's like triggering 16 CDJs at once. Okay, but do I need to connect them to the rest of the equipment? Yeah, so you go Pro DJ uh, LAN port out into a switcher, which then plugs into our mixer. And then for the audio, uh, out the back of the unit into the mixer and just mix it in on another channel. Okay, um, the name is SP16. You see, I'm great. I'm Germany's greatest SP1200 fan, right, so that's why I'm so curious. I, I get it that this is part of your system for that's why it's called Pioneer DJ. I get it, but I'm looking at it strictly from you know using it as a sampling drum machine. So uh, I see you got you know the. Yeah. So you can uh, you load your samples in via USB, or there's an eight gigabyte internal memory. There's also an eight gigabytes of flash memory for all of the processing. You load the sound into one of the cells, and then you'll open up an ADSR window where you can edit the parameters of the sound, the start point, the end point, uh, add some effects, create some check texture, and maybe pan it in a stereo field. Assign it onto a pad, and then obviously trigger it and start to layer up your sequences. You can store approximately 250 sequences, and you have 40 from banks to switch between ones on the fly. And then obviously we've got Dave Smith's, uh, we've partnered with Dave Smith on this product and inherited his uh, four pole filter from his Prophet 6 synthesizer. So you've got your resonance control, your cutoff point, uh, and a drive control, which kind of just adds this more like bubbly sound. So we've always wanted to have a, an analog filter in our hardware and we've always done digital filters. So to collaborate with Dave and inherit his technology was a great honor. And obviously, we're very proud for working with uh, with Dave as well on the product. So, how many voices simultaneously? Uh, Sixteen voices. Uh, so there's eight quarter-inch jacks out. So if you wanted to make some grooves on the hardware and then record it into your sound card, for example, you would take the audio output. There's a quarter-inch TRS in for recording on the fly, sampling on the fly. So if you are Playing the keys, you could sample it in and re-trigger and start to layer up some patterns. So it isn't just for a DJ or somebody making house records at home. You know, somebody yeah. who plays a musical instrument could use this and sample and start to create some more creative techniques to their performance. So. Yeah, because DJing these days is sort of a getting, it's a kind of a mix between a, a live act you know, and playing somebody else's record. So it's getting more and more important that I can sort of modify my set. The DJ is bringing lots of live devices into the booth now, and hopefully this is the missing link and harnesses everybody's external kit together, and especially in a DJ uh, Pioneer setup, and hopefully make it easier for them to trigger new patterns and textures over the top of their mix. And it's totally standalone, so I could just yeah. Yeah. Drop that in the back, take it somewhere and start making music. Absolutely, yeah. So Pioneer's strategy has always been about keeping the laptop away from the DJ booth. I know we make controllers and I know we make software for laptops, but our strategy is never to position those pieces of hardware in the DJ booth. We've always been about USB keys and SD cards inside CDJs. So that's always been our position in the booth. Okay. Hence why it's standalone. You're not dependent on the laptop to make it work. All right. And um, the pricing on this, how much is this going to be? This is 1599 euros, and it'll be available early summer. All right, cool. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you very much.